Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today it's Tuesday the 4th of April and I've just come down to the Norfolk show, showground. We've got a case day here and I'm here with uh, Keenan from Ireland. Hello. And uh, you're gonna show us around this, this honey. Yes, we're gonna look at the uh, Puma 260 AFS Connect. So the two units here are the first two in the UK. We're gonna go for a bit of a, a drive and a chat about them now. Oh. We're just looking at the hand wash tank. Yeah, just... so we've got a, one of the new features we have on these now is a, is a hand wash tank. Um, and we can also inspect them with a toolbox in here as well. So a cantilever toolbox. And um, this pulls out. So basically you can take a toolbox, go back, do your whatever you might want to fix, whatever it be cultivations, put your toolbox back on, clip it back in. It clips in nicely. You've got your hand wash tank down here. Turn it on, wash your hands. And again, just close that back up. Um, yeah, it's neat. It's tidy. Uh, yeah, so we're going through a few new things. There's new suspension, a whole new screen. It's basically a whole new cab on the long wheelbase. Uh, is this, uh, this is CVX? This is, yeah, this is CVX, so it's 260 horsepower, um, max horsepower 280, max boost 302. So it's, yeah, producing 302 horsepower from a 6.7 liter FPT engine. Uh, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool, to be fair. And then I guess you stop it there as well, do you? Yeah, so you, if you want to start it without starting the tractor, for instance, you just yeah. press it without the clutch, like what you just done. Yeah. Then if you want to obviously turn on the tractor. You can turn it up there. Yeah, yeah. so if you want to leave it warm up. Is this the new... Uh so this is the new computer. Uh, yeah, the new Pro 1200 screen. And so this is available from quad track down as far as uh, long wheelbase Puma now. And we've got this new multi controller, so this is fully customizable. So yeah. you got your numbers, some of them go across over here. Yeah. They're all fully customizable as well. And then everything with the little square around it, so you can see the little square. They're all fully Isobus uh, compatible as well, so we can change your Say you've got a drill, you've got something on it, you can swap all them out and around as oh, well. Program it to what you want. Yeah. yeah, Yeah. so we'll go through some of that in a second. Yeah, we've got this new A-pillar screen. So this drives back from, from what you would be used to on your uh, long wheelbase Pumas and everything from the past. It still has all the same principal information, but they've jazzed it up, got a new LED screen in there. But yeah, so you can see your fuel, your blue, your temperature. Ah, oh, smart. It is all as you'd expect. Yeah, um, seems really modern in here though. Really. Yeah. yeah, so they've done the new yeah. brighter colors basically. You you got a new steering wheel as well that helps and visibility. You got your your wiper covers 240 degrees of of, uh, of white basically. There you go. So and that hides right down out of the way as well. So from now on you basically have your full visibility out of the track. Yeah, uh, push that pedal there, steering yeah. wheel come down. There you go. There you have it. So I mean you, you can see your visibility there. there. Yeah, there you go. Yes, this is the visibility from the new new case. Looks pretty good. Obviously. Case IH down there, that's that's all new, is it? Yeah, like we've done a whole new dashboard basically. You've got obviously all your vents, will help to obviously clear the window if there's uh, moisture on it. Yeah, yeah um, really got a lot of leather steering wheel as well. One thing as well is we've got this. So, this is a cool box basically, so you can cool put box. your lunch in there. Um, and you've got another one behind it then as well that has a lot of. I love the leather. Um, Trim. Is that an optional extra? Is that so these are yeah. So there's different seat options you can basically yes, get, yes. but um, but yeah, this one is. Yeah, it's luxury. Um, one key feature you might remember compared to the the older ones as well is this behind the cab here or behind the seat here. Sorry. Yeah. Um, we've got a lot more space, so you can put your seat right back. It's it's yeah. better for the taller people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They've got a, got a bit more room. Clutch first. Yeah. Um, yeah. Press. The, I'll pull that up to the forward. And then we'll pop back to the middle and then so this is a basically a proportionate lever okay so you can leave your foot off the clutch now it's not going to move all right and we've got numbers up here so you got your uh, f1 f2 f3 56 24 5 so we can edit all them we'll go through that in a second 56k is that the top so, speed sorry yeah so 56k is top speed of the tractor wow. on the road um we might not be doing it around here no, no, but no, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll we'll see how far we get but if you want to just push it forward slowly now just a small bit and it'll it'll start moving and then you'll get the feel for it and you'll, you'll you'll see how it operates so we've got an aggressiveness button as well here so oh, yeah i see so it's in comfort now is it um, yeah, so that's in the the, the lower setting. setting, and then you can you can, the one new thing they've done on this as well is they've done a custom mode. Right. So we, we've in past we've had a low, medium, and a high. Yeah. We now have a custom mode as well, um, and that custom mode is yeah, it, it just you can speed up quickly and slow down slowly if you want, or vice versa. Whereas yeah. before it was it was one of one or the other. Yeah, it seems really smooth so far. The, the gearbox and mm. suspension's lovely as well. Front suspension and cab suspension we can have in either a soft, medium or hard. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> we've got like we can set the lights to be automatic um, and just just cool things now so if it's dark um, beautiful day on the showground it is a lovely day to be out in Norfolk showground speed up a little bit yeah go and push it forward or whatever you're happy with oh, that's, that's and that's in the low setting so we can smart so turn left at this um, uh, the, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. um and once you turn left, we might just come to a stop and we'll go through some of the, uh, just some of the screen stuff, if that's all right. And can you drive it off the pedal as well if you want yeah. to? Yeah. So you can, you can seamlessly go between the two of them. So, I mean, if you pull that fully back now um, and just use your, your foot throttle, yeah, okay, it'll, cool. it should carry on. You don't even need to pull it fully back. So you could keep this halfway forward, well, just a small bit. Yeah. And then if you leave or go off the foot throttle now, it should, it should continue on whatever speed you're... You've you're set it on the controller. Yeah. But, yeah. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. So they've um, they've got one of the, uh, the, the the quietest cabs in the market now, basically. It's, it's yeah. what they aim for and it's what they've achieved. Right. But yeah, we're, we're having a conversation in here and we're, we could whisper and we'd still... <laughs> we'd still hear it. The steering's pretty good. It's got, for such a big tractor, it's got quite a good lock. Yeah. yeah. When you turn, turn fully and just let go and you'll actually see the steering wheel like a car does. Yeah. So the steering wheel will come back to centre. Oh, okay. So the wheels will, it'll automatically straighten up basically. Okay. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. So yeah. you, you don't even have to turn, you can literally turn fully and just let go. Yeah. yeah obviously like, the more speed you do, the more it turns. Does that yeah, make sense? I know what you mean, yeah. yeah. So just so like like, turn, turn right here. So it's like less turning. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, normally I feel myself screeching around like that, you know. And we've got it, yeah, so just turn. turn. And I'll just let go of it basically. So see it coming back. Oh, smart. As you're going down the road or something, if you slide your hands along it or whatever, it'll. It's basically what a car does. It's the same technology as what a car does. They've designed it to do what a car does. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just just driver comfortability basically. You can go whichever way. Okay. Right. Yeah. I have done a really good job with the steer. Yeah. We can do quick steer, which is one and a half turns left to right. Oh, well. Right, so change the ratio. So, so yeah, we went into the screen and we've changed the steering ratio from normal or slow to fast. So oh yeah, L literally like quarter turn on the steering wheel and all yeah. wheels are turned. <laughs> so now your automatic straighten doesn't work. Whoa, that is crazy. But, so <laughs> what we're on a second go is road mode. This is obviously field mode. You can't. It won't let you go above 25 kilometers an hour in this mode, in, in this mode. for safety reasons, obviously. Yeah. So yeah. you don't just go down the road trying to do 50k and yeah. a millimeter yeah. turn puts you in through yeah. a hedge. Literally, um, like if you look at my hand, like on the steering wheel, literally like a little bit, and the whole wheels just turn like 90 degrees. So it's, it's one like one and a half turns from lock to lock. So right. from full left to right, it's one and a half turns. Yeah. So it saves you having to do that all the time. I yeah, guess. and yeah. what we can do as well, um, we can change your forward ratio and a reverse ratio. So say if you're plowing and you want to turn around in the headlands. Yeah. So, well, for instance, we can do it now. So you're going forward, so just come to a stop for a second. And if you use your just your foot throttle now. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you can just press it down, basically go for it. And that's it, coming up to speed then. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's unreal. I'm just going back to the, so that's your safety mode. So see the lights flashing? Yeah. Because it's above the 25K, that was flashing to say that your fast gear wasn't working anymore. Right. It's a complete point to note, I'm going in there. And then it's used the, the exhaust braking or the engine braking, sorry, to slow Ex down. Exactly that, wow. so it just helps tractors slow down a lot smoother. Yeah. Well, I'm blown away. There's so, so many things on this case, which uh, you can customize. It's unbelievable. The ride's so smooth, the transmission's smooth. Just, yeah. Well, we haven't even got into the buttons yet. Have you not? <laughs> <laughs> Over a hundred different functions through eight buttons now. Yeah. Um, and they are varying from anything you want. So quick jump into different screens, whether it be turn up and down your radio, answering phone calls, turn on your beacons, turn on your work lights. You can even put spool valves through there. We've now got a new GPS button as well. Basically, it's it's there. It's, an, it's within Tom's range of, uh, on the multi-controller. But yeah, it is, it's phenomenal. You never get used to how quiet the cab is. Yeah, it's really quiet. <laughs> it's yeah. unbelievable. And the ride's super smooth as well. Yeah, I'm blown away. Case is, come leaps and bounds from the old model. Yeah. yeah. Um, all the screen is, again, as you can imagine, fully customizable, whatever way you want to 
wanted to be. Yeah, and that's um, your um, auxiliary for your hydraulics. Yeah, so, so if you had a loader, so forwards and backwards on there, is that right? Exactly. So yeah. you got you got forwards and backwards, and you can also change your ranges. So right. whatever top speed, your F1, F2, F3. Yeah. Um, so you can change them there. So that'd be for if you put a loader on one of these. And we have seen a, a, a last week in Austria. I've seen one of these with a loader, and it looks absolutely spectacular. Yeah. I, I know you might think, why you put two sixty on a loader? But they're yeah, gen yeah, yeah. It genuinely for for three hundred horsepower. It's such a it's such a compact tractor and such a do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it works well. I mean, you can feel that it's it's the, a nice place to have your your hand on for a for a loader and everything. Yeah, the multi controller feels yeah. um, premium. It does. I feel like really premium. Like really they've um quality, yeah. they, they they've put a lot of effort into designing this. Yeah. To get it up to a really really smart, and then put it into yeah. So park is just down and forward. So that's the handbrake. Yeah, yeah, and it's silent as well. Find me. Yeah, yeah. Blown away. Blown away. I can't believe it. All right, so we had a good go there in the new Puma. Thanks to Kieran for showing us around. He's now showing someone else around. Everyone's come down today um, to the Norfolk Show round. Of course, we came here last year. We had a stand, and hopefully it'll be another good year for the Norfolk Show this year. We've been really lucky with the weather today. Uh, people can get out in tractors again, have some demos, uh, and all of that good stuff. Hopefully, we'll, uh, Kieran will say we, we could try and get one on the farm for us and see what it's like against the 6R at home. So with that, let me know what you think of the, the new Puma in the comment section, and I'll catch you in the next one. Click here to subscribe to the channel and click here to watch another Ollie's Farm video. Mm.